Now, once we have exported our list from Revo Gateway, we now can start to create a door knocking schedule for ourselves. Now remember, this was what we pulled, which were the expireds in Long Beach over the course of the last month. And there were 47 of them. So what we would do in order to create a scenario or route for us, we could just basically take this Excel sheet and we can plug it, plug it into a mapping application. I like to use MapQuest because it's free and very easily accessible. They also have a mobile app that will enable you to pull the same data up in your phone. So what you would do is you would simply take the address and we didn't put the state but it's going to be able to register anyway because of the uh, zip code and all we do is we copy and paste the addresses into MapQuest. So now we're going to go back to MapQuest and we are going to go into their route planner. Now the way that works is if we go back to home, to their home page, this is MapQuest home page, you would go over to the more link. Here's the more link. And then you would go to travel and then you would go, you would go to route planners. Route planner here. When you do route planner, this page comes up. You can create it either goes line by line, you can copy and paste an area, or you can import a spreadsheet. If we wanted to, we could actually import that spreadsheet into Outlook as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to input the, uh, the addresses via copying and pasting. Now we can do one of two things. If we wanted to, we can start from our starting point and then copy and paste the balance of the addresses so that it gives us directions from where we are to the first property and then ultimately give us uh, directions on how to get to the balance of them. So for example, I'll put our office address in, which is 100 Ocean Gate, Long Beach, California. 90802. So that would be the at first address. The balance, I just remember I, I did the copy in the Excel format and I'll just paste. Oops. I will paste the balance. Maybe I didn't copy it. I'm going to go copy. And then I will come back here and I will oops, paste the rest below. So again, starting off at 100 Ocean Gate, and then here's our list that we just pasted from the Excel sheet. So now, what we'll do is we'll pick our, we'll optimize our route. Now we're gonna always wanna choose shortest distance. It tends to work a lot better. And then what we'll also do is allow MapQuest to reorder our stops on our route to make it the shortest distance. We don't care in this instance about seasonal roads or tolls, so we'll wipe that out. Then we'll go get directions. So it'll take us to a page where it will essentially route a map for us to follow with our starting point at our office and then going to each respective See, starting from our office and then going to each respective place afterwards in order in, the, in terms of the shortest distance. So it gives us essentially a, a route that we can follow that'll take us from one property to the next in the shortest distance possible, ending at the last property. And if we wanted to make it a round trip, we could have and it would bring us back to our starting point. Now we took 47 properties. Generally speaking, we don't like to do any more than 25 to 30 properties in a session because 45 would literally take all day. But this gives you a sense of how that works. Now, what we'll do at that point is, it, is here on the side, this is great. We could print this all out, 
But we don't want to do that. We want to come over here and we want to go to send. And we could send by various methods. We're going to send by email. And we could simply enter the email address here, which I've done. I already sent this to myself, but I went to my email address. Um, and I put you could put your, your name there. You could do the subject. And then what you'll get is, oops, what you'll get is an email like this that'll have all the addresses and it will also document step-by-step -step directions on how to get there. Now that's great if you wanted to either print it out or did not have GPS, but most smartphones have GPS. So with that, you can simply take this list and in your phone all the address of all the addresses will be highlighted and you can just simply click on the address and it will GPS to the next address. It's a very easy way to do it on your smartphone. And you, once you do that, you would then um, take your call sheet, I'm sorry, your, your Excel sheet with you. Um, generally what we'll do is we'll take a clipboard and we'll either write notes on it or we've gotten a little bit more advanced and for those of you who have an iPad which we did um, we would take our iPad and we would actually send this Excel format to the iPad and then create our notes on the fly after we've spoken to each respective person at the door we'd have another field actually if I want to go insert column on it We'd have a num no another field that we call status. And that status field would basically tell us what happened at the door. So we would have, um, you know, we would have, and it, we'll go over this in more detail, but, you know, NH would be not home. Um, you know, F1 would be follow up one. F2 would be follow up two, which would be a hotter lead. Um, F3 would be, I'm sorry, <laughs> N, um, NI would be not interested. So we had a, a platform and whenever we got an F1 or an F2, we would take that lead. So in this case, it would be these two leads in our iPad, or you can do it manually if you don't have an iPad, but we would take those two leads, we copy them and we would put them into our CRM. And from that point on, we would follow up with those people either via door knock or via phone. To the best of our ability, if, we, if, we're, if we're doing our jobs right, when we're at the door, we're actually going to be getting phone numbers of somebody, either the owner or, you know, or, or somebody that we could follow up with in order to you know, establish a, a solid follow-up mechanism. We can also follow up by dropping off yellow letters, postcards, um, interest letters, things of that nature as well. So this is kind of how we would do it. This is how we would track it. And every day we'd build upon this list and all of the ones that we don't contact, either the not, not homes or, or folks that we would have to come back to, we would keep in the list. The F1s, F2s, we'd move into our CRM, the not interested, we would keep in a separate list and we would follow up less often to try to see if there might be an interest at a later date. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's how we would take the leads that we pull from Rebo Gateway and uh, turn them into a door knocking platform. Thank you.